Okay, so I understand that nearly everyone subscribed to this channel is not going to care about Obi Toppin and Flyers basketball, but the guy needs to be represented by just as many people as possible, anywhere possible, including on this channel by me. And uh, the worst thing about him is he's going to be gone after this year, unfortunately. And for him, I hope he does go to the Warriors, but then at the same time, I hope he doesn't go to the Warriors. I mean, it would kind of suck if he goes to the Cavs, but then it would be awesome if he goes to the Cavs. We still get to see him play, hopefully, for a long time. But, and I mean, oh man, what it is, just looking at some of the highlights, that's one thing that is represented on YouTube is the highlights. The dunk against Duquesne, that's also where you see he's not just a highlight reel. Maybe his ball handling is one thing he could, he's going to obviously improve on. You know, it feels like, I mean, man, if I, dude, just tall, he's long. You know, best case scenario, if you just really want to build the hype and blow it up, you're like, man, this guy's Kevin Durant. This is this is Kevin Garnett, baby. You know, back-to-back -back Kevins. I mean, he could be other guys, but no, Kevin McHale. You know, I don't know. Possibly. That's best case scenario. He's got a deep shot. He's got the athleticism. My God. The dunk against Duquesne. And that's also where you see he sees it. You know, he knew it. He's like, he's a basketball player. He's not just, you know, he's not just a tall dude out here dunking. He's had the nice pass maybe against uh, whatever that last game was on ESPN+. Plus. Showed that he can throw, that he can pass the ball. Obviously a good rebounder, good offensive rebounder. But the dunk against Duquesne where his man left him to go out to guard the three. And he just instantly saw, okay... If this shot is missed, I can rebound this and dunk this. And, you know, pro probably not what he had in mind, the way it, sh it ricocheted off the rim, but way back here, and boom, didn't matter. Still just rammed it down. Might have been that same game. One dunk, one game he had a dunk, he rammed one, and the, there was just a whistle was blown for no reason. I mean, the game was just going on. He dunks it. The, the referee blew the whistle. I don't know why. He just rattled his brain. Uh, my bad. False alarm. Just OB fucking rattling brains over here. Uh, the rim was fine, the backboard was fine, the shot clock was still working. Sometimes it does seem like he's going to break the shot clock. Then the dunk against Rhode Island looked like he was going to get cut off. <clears throat> looked like he wasn't going to be able to get it to the basket. Has some kind of awkward move where he has to let the ball go. Bounce ahead of him. Again, he saw that. It's like, oh, okay, boom, this one on it. As soon as he sees he knows he's got to do it, he can do it. Bam, he, it's happening. Then he's about to get cut off, fouled in the process, goes up with the left hand and rattles it again. I mean, that, that sealed it right there. It's like, my God, man. There's not much as he's hitting threes. Free, okay, his free throws aren't 100%. Plays deep, can get down on defense, offensive rebounding. I don't know. That's three minutes on Obi Toppin. Guy deserves more, but that's all I got. Boom. Good flyers.